What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we're going to be drawing Jimmy Donaldson, otherwise known as Mr. Beast. Let's start this drawing in the center of our page with the upper eyelid. So we're going to start on the left side, we're going to curve up in the middle, and then back down on the inside of the eyelid. Let's leave a gap in the center and draw the same thing on the right. So we're going to line up the inside of the eyelid, curve up, and then down. Now we're going to tuck the eyes in underneath the eyelid. Starting back on the left, we're going to step in, draw a half circle. Coming down, rounding out the eye, and then pulling that in on the inside. Do the same thing on the right. And then we're going to add a small highlight on the top left of each eye. So up against the edge of the eye, we're going to draw a circle. Coming around, and we'll tuck that up underneath the eyelid. Let's do the same thing on the right. Coming down, and then back up. And then we're going to draw that same size circle in the center of the eye. We're going to tuck this in underneath the highlight. So we'll start at the bottom, curve around, and tuck that in. Do the same thing on the right. Coming around, and then in. We'll fill the pupils in black. Let's add a small fold on top of each eye. We start back on the left side. We follow the same curve of the eyelid, going in. Do the same thing on the right. And then we'll add the eyebrows on top, starting back on the left. We curve up, and then down on the inside. Let's line this up on the right. We'll do the same thing. Let's thicken up the eyebrows. We're gonna start back on the left. We're gonna go a little bit higher in the middle. And then pull that down on the inside. Do the same thing on the right. And we're going to fill the eyebrows in black. Let's move to the center of the face and draw the nose. We start back on the left side. We're going to draw a curve. Coming down and then up. Then we're going to move up and draw a short curve in the opposite direction of the bridge of the nose. And then we're going to move down and draw in the mouth. Starting back on the left, curve down, and then up. Then we're going to add a small bracket on the corners of the mouth. On the left, and the right. Now we'll tuck the mustache underneath the nose. Starting back on the left side, curve down and out towards the left corner of the mouth. Go to the right, and we'll do the same thing. And then from the center of the mouth, we're going to step down, draw a short curve from left to right. Now I'm going to move back out and draw the lower half of the head. From the left eye, I'm going to step out, draw a large half circle. Coming down, go underneath the mouth, and I'm going to pull that up on the right side. Let's go back to the center and add a small goatee. Starting on the left side, I'm going to curve up and then back down. Now we're going to move back up and bump out the side of the head. Starting on the left, we're going to curve out and then up to right about there. We're just lining up at the top edge of the eyebrows. And then we'll connect the tops with a curve. Starting on the left, we're going to go up and we'll bring that down on the right side. Now we're going to add some hair on the side of the head. Starting down here, go up and then we'll bend that in underneath the edge of the hat. We're also going to add some hair coming down across the forehead. So let's start back on the left side, curve across, and then up. I'm just going to pull this back down with a short curve towards the eyebrow. Let's go out and up towards the right. Now we're going to do an overlap. Stepping back down, curve down, and then up underneath the hat. Let's draw on the top of the hat brim. Starting back on the left, we're going to curve this out and then back in on both sides. Now I'm going to connect the ends with a curve, going a little bit higher in the middle. And I'm going to bring that back down on the right side. Now we want to draw on the top of the hat. So we're going to line up with the side of the head, up above the hat brim. Go up, and we'll just bend that in. Let's do the same thing on the right. Point up, and then into the same height. Now from here we're going to curve up and in towards the center point. Let's add the ears on the side of the head. 
From the corner of the hat brim, we're going to step down, start by curving up, rounding up the ear, and then pull that in towards the side of the head. Let's line this up on the right and do the same thing. We're also going to add a fold in the ear, starting on the inside, curve up, and then out with a short curve. Now we're going to move down and draw on the body. We're going to start with the outer edge of the hood, starting on the left side underneath the head, curve down, and then in. Line this up on the right, we'll do the same thing. Now from the inside of the hood, we'll move to the center, start with a point. From here on, curve up and out towards the left underneath the head. Go back to the center and do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to draw the arms coming down with the hands inside the pocket. So we'll start on the left side of the hood, we'll curve out the arm, and then down towards the elbow. So line this up on the right, and we'll do the same thing. Then from the elbow, we're going to curve down and in towards the outside edge of the pocket to right about there. And then we'll close off the bottom of the pocket, starting on the left, we're going to curve a little bit lower in the middle, and then back up on the right. Let's draw the outside edge of the pocket. Starting back on the left, we're going to start by going straight up, we'll bend that in, and do the same thing on the right side, the same height. Now let's close off the top with a straight line going across. Let's go back to the left side. We're going to curve the top of the arm going up. We're going to bend this down aiming towards the elbow. Do the same thing on the right going up and then bending that down. And then from the top curve of the forearm, we're going to draw the side of the body going up and then in just underneath the hood on both sides. Now we want to extend the side of the body coming down underneath the arm. So we'll draw a straight line coming down on both sides. And then we'll close off the bottom of the sweater with a curve coming down and then back up. Let's continue working down with the legs. In the center, we'll step down, draw a curve from left to right, going up and then down. Leaving a gap in the center, go to the left side, curve out and down towards the left heel. Move over towards the right, curve out and down towards the right heel. And then we're going to round out the bottom of the feet. Starting from the heel, we're going to curve down and then up towards the toe. We'll do the same thing on the right. Let's draw on the top of the shoe. Starting from the toe, we're going to draw a half circle going up. That's going to bend this down, aiming towards the heel. We'll stop right about there. And then we're just going to bend that back up towards the inside of the leg. Let's do the same thing on the right. Going up to the top, pulling that down. And then we'll bend that back up towards the inside. Let's go back up to the bottom corners of the sweater and draw on the side of the leg. Starting on the left side, curve out, down, and I'm just going to pull that in towards the top of the foot, and do the same thing on the right. Let's thicken up the sole. We want to take this curve, step up, and just trace that across. And I also want to add the tongue of the shoe. Starting at the bottom of the leg, we're going to draw a half circle, going up and then back down. Do the same thing on the right, going up and then down. We'll add a toe cap on the outside of the foot, curve in and then down towards the sole on both sides. Let's move back up to the bottom of the sweater and add the pockets. Starting on the left side, we'll curve down and out. Do the same thing on the right. And one last thing we're going to do before we finish this off is add the word beast in the center of the sweater. So let's start on the left side, start with a B, starting with a straight line. We're going to overlap the top. Going in and out, draw the bottom of the B, move over, draw the E. Now these are all going to be uppercase letters. Draw the A, S, and then T. And that's pretty much it. There's a cartoon illustration of Mr. Beast. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.